Hello, Brooke. Today, I want to ask you, what are some tools you can give us on ADHD and teamwork? So ADHD and teamwork can be tough, right? So ADHD mm -hmm. can very often be labeled um, as characters from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Think of Tigger. <laughs> Um, easily distracted, has a lot of energy, can sit still, can't sit still, um, talks too much, trouble waiting turns. So this is your hyperactive ADHD member yeah. of the group. Uh, however, it could also be seen as Winnie. So the inattentive type of ADHD, easily distracting, having short attention spans, daydreams, easily bored. Or you could be the Christopher Robbins, the overfocused, might argue, might worry, always wants their way. And then Piglet and Eeyore also have some traits of ADHDers as well. Yeah. So with all of those different symptoms, it can be challenging working with other people. So <clears throat> some of the things that we might want to do as ADHDers in a group is um, find from the beginning, what the roles of the group will be. And it might be helpful to have like certain topics that each person wants to work on and you can take your topic and do it, like do it yourself and then come back to the group and share what you came up with. Because very often the ADHDers want um, like come up with the answer to, or the solution to what the group should be doing, but it's hard to come up with the steps along the way to the answer or help people understand how you got there. So um, if you can come up with something that is your own and then present it to the group or have a specific role in the group, maybe be a note taker or um, you know, have a, a specific um, way of going about it, that can be helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is to have a notepad while you're in a group, write down your thoughts and suggestions, and then agree on a time to review it with a group, um, rather than just blurting out the information as the group is talking. Um, another thing is to try practicing mindfulness or exercising right before the group meets to help regulate your focus during the meetings. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, like fidget stuff. So if you want to be walking around during the group to help you stay focused, focus uh, gadgets and toys, that also can help. So um, it's not easy in a group, but we often have really good ideas as ADHDers. It's just the way that we present them can be a little embracive for some people. So we have to be able to regulate them. And those are the tools that I suggest. Yes, I, I really, I like those tools a lot. I agree with a lot of them. And I think, um, you know, we always talk about structure, mind mapping, routine, organization, having a schedule. And these all fall under the umbrella of um, knowing what is what, staying organized. And it's so important to ask and better understand what your task is, what position you play, what role you play in the team. It's super important. And that also falls in the, in the umbrella of communication. You need to ask those questions. Ask if you missed something. You know, sometimes we're thinking about this idea or this, um, this little, uh, this little um, small piece of the project the team talked about. And we're kind of in that, you know, in that whole new world of just um, uh, thinking outside the box. And we miss a couple of things someone else said. Ask, what did you miss? Ask. Uh, to better understand and um, stay on top of the current task and the team goals. Communication, being a good listener, being a good listener is so important. That's what I think also uh, practicing mindfulness is super important. You need to be a good listener. Sometimes with our impulsivity, we want to interrupt and say this and say that we get really excited. So I think it's super important to be a good listener, ask questions at the right time. And um, now for us with ADHD, I think thinking outside the box is a really big trait that we have. And it's a positive aspect that we have. And it's very important to use it. We always want to speak up and say what's on our mind because it might benefit um, the team. It might um, create new ideas. It's super important. And um, I think uh, I like the walking thing. If you walk around and, the, you know, uh, um, while you're talking or fidgeting. 
I tend to walk a lot when I'm on the phone or I'm on FaceTime. It's just something of habit I do so often and it helps me think. I don't know what it is, but it helps me think. Yes. And you know, my sister and my girlfriend, my mom, they all notice it. My friends all notice it. I walk so much when I'm on the phone. And even when um, I'm studying at school and groups or whatever it is, like at, at work, I like walking. I like getting up. Everyone's sitting at a table and I'm like standing up, getting walking. It's just gets the mind flowing. That's super important. You use that to your advantage, a fidget spinner or this or that, just stay moving. Um, and don't forget to lead with strength, encourage others to, um, to do the same. Um, try to stay positive. Having that being, being in the team is super important. Um, and, and promote that diversity, you know, more than one brain is so important. You want to know that one brains, uh, oh, my bad, more than, um, two brains is better than one and so on. Um, so you want to really promote that, you know, that positivity, that teamwork, that routine. Let's meet up a couple times a week. We can't miss a day, even if we have nothing to deliver. Let's still meet up. Let's create a group chat um, on email, on text, um, on Notion, note-taking apps, Google Docs, whatever it is. That synergy of so many different connections and networking, you want to stay loyal to those. You want to stay loyal to that routine and stay positive and always meet up because, you know, sometimes there's nothing to deliver. Sometimes everybody's been a little, you know, busy, but it's very good to um, meet up. Um, and, well, there's, uh, there's the accountability piece. So if you know that you have to get uh, X done by this time, you do it and you collaborate. And I think there's something nice about not being together mm -hmm. all the time while you're working on it, because some of us have slow processing speeds. So someone could be throwing out an idea and you might not be able to connect yes. it right away. So sometimes we just have to sit with it and process it and think about things and think about what we want to say. So having those multiple meetings and deadlines are helpful. So we have that time. I agree hundred percent. Sometimes you need to sleep on it. Sometimes you hear something and they, you know, that, that, that little spark, that idea won't spark at you. Um, um, right away you know what I mean and I, I couldn't agree more and you know uh, just stressing on the um, you know cherishing that diversity cherishing that different brains you know some people are the idea people some people are the detail people and it's super important to embrace um, you know having ADHD embrace that thinking outside the box and um, getting up walking around and uh, just um, staying um, um, staying vocal and communicate saying try to communicate as much as you can work as a team because that's that's what gets the job done you know teamwork say it, say it. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> wow <laughs> and i'm gonna say rules and roles everyone has a role and have certain rules so yeah. like even if you need a gavel you know okay when the gavel comes to you you talk it could be so elementary, but still, you know. Yeah, the, the talking pillow. Is that what they call it? The talking, <laughs> the talking pillow, exactly. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that talking pillow, no doubt. We hope you liked today's video. If you want more information about ADHD, please feel free to visit our website at differentbrains.org or my website, coachingwithbrook.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe.